What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to go through the list of players who are in danger of losing their tour card at the end of this year, and we're going to see just how likely they are to lose it. So if you want to find out who is potentially going to Q School 2022, then stick around, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're brand new. If you like these sort of statistical videos, then you're going to want to subscribe and see some more of this sort of stuff. But anyway guys, let's get into it. So before that, this video would not be possible without the help from the guys at Darts Oracle. So today, there are essentially the sponsor of this video. If you like me and you enjoy Dart statistics, then you are going to want to be a part of Dart Oracle. Trust me. Go on their website, create an account, and you'll be able to see loads and loads and loads of Dart statistics. It's very, very good. It's very handy. It's nice to see. I like my statistics. I'm sure a lot of you guys do, do as well. So go over to their website, create an account, and sign up. And if you do do that, send them a little tweet and say, the Darts referee sent you. But anyway, let's have a look at the list. So the way the tour card system works is once you win a tour card you have that tour card for a minimum of two years at the end of the two years if you're no longer inside the top 64 on the world rankings you then lose your tour card so the players i'm going to be going through today are players who have had a tour card for at least two years and are currently outside the top world 64 or potential to be outside the top world 64 by the end of this year now the way that this list works is that it shows a percentage of the likeliness that they will lose their tour card this year all the percentages have been rounded up so there are a quite a few hundred percenters they're not exactly 100 there is a chance that they'll get through the world championship qualifiers at the end of the year play really well in the worlds and they won't lose their tour card but the likelihood of that happening is very low therefore their percentage of losing their tour card is very high so anyway let's have a look so starting at the bottom of the list these are the players who are at the least amount of risk of losing their tour card but there's still a chance so with four percent chance of losing their tour card is max hop i'm probably going to go through these quite quickly as well so stick around it's pretty easy to understand 5% chance of losing his tour card is Boris Kirchmer. 7% is William Borland. 10% is John Henderson. 22% is Scott Waits. So these, these players, Scott Waits, John Henderson, William Borland, Boris Kirchmer, and Max Hopp, all in with a chance of losing their tour card, but it's not really very likely. After Scott Waits, though, we get a big jump up in percentages, and we have Ted Evitz, 60% chance that he loses his tour card at the end of the year. Next up, Ryan Meikle, 71%. Then we've got Mickey Mansell, who's had his tour card a long time, so it'd be a shame to see him lose his tour card, but 78% chance he loses his tour card at the end of this year. Carl Sedlacek, 84% chance that he loses his tour card. Next up, we we have got Christoph Kuchuk, 90% chance that he loses his card as well. Next up, Bradley Brooks, 91%. Lisa Ashton, 92%. Matthew Edgar, 94%. Ryan Murray is on 95%. Mike Dedeka, 97%. Kai Fang Leung, 98%. Yella Klassen is 98% as well. Also on 98% is Justin Pipe. Then we've got three players on 99% chance of losing their tour card, and those are Alan Tabern, Nick Kenny, and James Wilson. Then we have a load of 100%ers. These are the guys who need to do extremely well they need to get through the world's qualifiers more than likely and then they need to smash it basically at the world's to try and keep their tour card it's going to be hard not impossible but the guys who are on 100 percent, which is technically 99 point something all of these percentages have been rounded up are kieran tian andy hamilton Dirk Telneckis. I don't know if I said that name right. Don't hate me for it. Aaron Beanie, which is going to be a shame because I think Aaron Beanie is, is a favourite for a lot of people. Harold Leitinger, Wesley Harms, Darren Penhall, Stefan Sipman, Gary Blades, Peter Jakes, Martin Atkins, Steve Brown, Jesus Nogura, Daniel Larson, Wayne Jones, Mark McGinney, Christo Reyes, Josh Payne, and Darren Webster. Those are your 100%ers, guys. That is the list, and that is the probabilities of whom will be losing a tour card this year. So if you see some of your favorite players on that list, give them a little nudge. Say, look, this is your chance. Get through the qualifier, play in the Worlds, and you'll have a chance of keeping your tour card. But it's going to be a tough year this year. A lot of players have struggled through COVID. A lot of players that you wouldn't expect to lose a tour card are about to lose a tour card. Darren Webster is currently the most likely to lose his tour card, and he was world number 12, maybe three three or four years ago. Crazy stuff. But guys, don't forget, if you want to see statistics like this and you want to find out more statistics that are based around the percentages and based around darts, then go over to dartsoracle.com and sign up for an account and you'll have access to all of those sort of stats. Anyway, guys, if you did 
enjoyed this video and you found it interesting, please leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this sort of stuff, then stick around for some more videos like this. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you made it to the end, comments, Q school. Put Q school in the comments so I can see how many of you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.